They're going to start it with Schliger. And the first pitch is grounded to short deep in the hole. Turconi with a tough play throws to first. Not in time. So Schliger comes up aggressively. Nick LaRusso. And you got him out of first base as Schliger has got nothing. My goodness. Eddie McGraw with a quick move and Schlager is a goner. Home run cut a strike three, two strikeouts in the inning. Tommy Hawk has made it happen. He swings and hits one in the left center field. What else is new? And it's out of the glove is Marslack. And Hawk is scampering into second. Great start for the Deeks and Tommy Hawk. And he celebrates and goes bat in the lineup. He plays center. That one is ripped down the line. Here comes the runner. Hawk across third and in the second is Bennett with a stand-up double. And Wake Forest is on the board as it hit the chuck. And it stayed fair for Pierce Bennett. What a start for Wake Forest. Very aggressive. Wake Forest picking up right where they left off. They scored 10 runs yesterday. And this offense, as you mentioned, one of the tops in the country. Top of the lineup, getting it done, painting the chalk right there in left field. The and there. Tinsman hits it pretty well and hits the base of the wall. Around third is Bennett. He will score, throwing a second, not in time. And the Deeks lead two to nothing. Brendan Tinsman is fourth RBI of the regional. They're off to a running start. This is not a bad pitch by Nick Dean. This is a curveball down and away, but watch how Tinsman goes down and he gets it, golfs it out to left center field. No chance for Smarslack to go and get it. He's able to get it in quickly, but the second extra base hit of this first inning. Chopper up the middle in the shift. Keister with the Costas for the out. But not before two runs by Wake Forest. Is McGraw, your second starter was outstanding, Josh Hartle. Backhanded by Wilkin, it gets by Kurtz. And Tinsman backs it up. There's one problem that Wake Forest has had the last two seasons is defense. Better this year. 2-1, he takes a home run cut. He watches it fly. And it's goodbye. Maxwell Costas touch them all. Two run home run is 16th of the season. It's tied up. And there's that hanging breaking ball we talked about yesterday. He tattooed one to right center field. He gets to go through the gauntlet there. Celebratory gauntlet and the hanging curveball. This one, he's able to pull it, put it out of the park, knew it right from the time and left the bat. And he rips this one. A lead, the dive. Did he come up with it? Yes, he did. Hang a star on that one. Bubba, a lead. That was special. Great athleticism, timing, tracking down right there, fully extended. Outstanding play by the All-American center fielder, Bubba Aline. And the crowd lets him know it, too. How about that? Man. Full extension, perfect timing. And Maxwell Costas is some kind of hot. He's six for 10 in the regional. Even I can tell you that's a 600 average <laughs> for a type of swing. Yeah, that's I want to watch. And that one line down the line. Flying in safely for a double as Patrice Costas the third and Maryland is in business. Not expecting it. And he does swing away. Wilkins coming home. Tinsman with the out. So one pitch and Smarzlack on the fielder's choice is safe at first. 
Got him on the outside corner. Frozen for strike three. Gives it a ride, a lean to the track. And it's a goner. He ran out of real estate and he paid for it. And Pierce Bennett, oh yeah, he disrupted the groove. Lake Forest takes a 3-2 to two lead. That's the seventh home run of the season. It seemed more like a straight fastball. Didn't have as much movement as we've seen Nick Dean with that four-seam fastball. Left it up, belt high, and put an absolute charge into it. Nice effort by Chris Aline. Timed it well, just passed his glove. See freshman team. Lines it to a lean. Has trouble with it. Took an awkward jump. And Kurtz reaches. What do you say? Is that an error? It's a fun destination in the summer. And Wilkin deep to left. Zmarzlak. No go. My goodness, had to wait on it for Brock Wilkin and Zamar's right looked like he might have had it, but Wilkin can circle the bases. It's five to two, Wake Forest. Watch this pitch off speed on the outside part. Wilkin extending those arms to go get it. But Zamar's like looked like he had a beat on it, thought it hit his glove, felt for the fence. Right off the, the pinky of the glove, maybe. Oh, just passed it. Just didn't get high enough. Thought he had a beat on it. Just couldn't track it down. Up with the Terrapins and what they've been able to do and accomplish all season. Tudor comes in. Punished and gone. My goodness. What a shot by Kevin Keister. Second straight day, he is homered, and he gives Maryland some new life. Exactly what the Terrapins needed, the bottom of the lineup again coming through. Production at the bottom. Solo shot for Keister, his second of this region. That make it on top there. Yeah. Just walked for Trutz. The 2 1. Marslak gives it a ride. And it's a home run. My goodness. Marslak with a home run. His 15th. And new life for Maryland once again. Just said that this game can change off of one swing and it comes by way of the eight hole. Bobby Smarslack. Over left field wall. Looks like Adam Cesare didn't see it at all. Doesn't know where it is. Doesn't need to know. No lead is safe. And he walked him four straight balls. Schlinger lofts it towards the gap. In business, runner headed around third. Here comes the throw home, not in time as it eludes Tinsman. Keister scores, and Maryland has erupted for four runs in the eighth. How do you like that? RBI double for Luke Schlinger. This pitch was on the outside part of the plate. And Luke Schlinger makes the adjustment, drives it to left center field and the hustle by Kevin Keister. Rounding second, not stopping, not slowing down, not breaking stride. Aline to center. And he snaps his slump for the bang. Bubba Aline, an All-American, the Big Ten Player of the Year. Touch them all.
23rd home run of the year for Bubba Aline. As you mentioned, the slump is broken. The eighth for Wake Forest. But another two out situation. Payoff pitch, miss low. Two straight walks. Rip down the line. Runner coming in to score. Off third base. Look out. They had to put the brakes on and diving in safely is Shaw. But they tack on another run to give them a four run lead. That's a six run eight for the Terps, all with two outs. Incredible. Yeah, it's similar to Wake Forest. This should do it. Wilkin completes the inning as Costas grounds out. But thought it throws you off. Goes by the dive of Costas for a base hit as Wilkin keeps the eighth alive for the Deeks. Sasiri dumps it into left field in front of Smarzlak. Disguising your signals? That's, that's your problem, not mine. Linus, the liner, and caught the wind. Schreffler putting it away. Hits it well, drops the bat, and it leaves the yard. Mr. Old School is part of the home run brigade. His ninth of the season. Seven, eight, nine hitters in the Terps lineup have all hit home runs. And they lead by five. Well, Trucks is that energy guy in the dugout. He's bringing some energy back there. Here's his second home run. 92 lead. Called strike three. There's your game winner. Falco strikes out the side of the ninth. Maryland survived and advanced. We'll play UConn tonight at 7.